Hello fellow explorers, we are Martin, Sharon and Taylor, better known as Sailing Trinity, an Irish Aussie family who dared to escape the ordinary. We abandoned jobs, university and the mundane, selling everything we owned to chase a life of freedom aboard Trinity, our Janos Sun Odyssey 50DS. Welcome to our five-part cleaning, organization and fixing series where you'll witness the finalization of our winter chapter before we jump into our epic season 2 green odyssey around the islands in 80 days content warning phones were harmed in the making of this episode now we have been living aboard trinity for a year now crazy right and in that time we have become increasingly familiar with what we need and where we need it over winter we kept bezos in business once again and are now in possession of many a storage optimizing apparatus now that trinity's clean it's time to up her game and her practicality too join us this episode as we attempt to do just that don't miss the chance to support us by liking and subscribing your encouragement keeps the channel and crew going strong and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments we cherish connecting with y'all without further ado let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together another segment of organizing trinity it's time to organize the plethora of spices that were previously shoved into this cupboard our pre-season cleanup and our pre-season organization part of that includes you know obviously cleaning out all the cupboards i'm super excited <laughs> we got a beautiful spice rack which is going to be going right here super keen i really like organizing things and I really like spices. <laughs> Actually, I need to get the mats. BLB, I don't even have the materials ready. As I was saying, I bought a pack, a large pack online. These plastic, boat safe, boat approved spice holders because we have a lot of spices. We all like to cook. Got a big old spice box that is soon to be transferred to a spice rack. Um, I actually don't know if this is gonna be the best thing to use. And it's sticky. I don't trust that. So we might put that for the wash. So the great thing about these is that they're very easy to fill, all the same size. And on the top here, you can see we have a little holes, portioned seasoning. And then we also have the spoon, another spoon. So my job now is to fill all of these up with the respective spices and label them. But we have a lot on to get through all the Let's get reckoned. Spice reckon. <laughs> Mountain of spices. All different colors, some bags to go into here. Like, once was an orphan spice rack. He roams the boats at night. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's let's get into it. Winter boat life can be a bit monotonous, so I'm super excited to organize these spices. Is she okay? Yeah, I am. I need to bond over someone with this. Like, if you guys like to organize things, let me know. Let's just segregate them from the pre-packaged spices. Yuck. Here's my current to work with pile. Here's my no pile. I feel like I've got like the, the code or lurch discord reddit mod stands on so I can fit in frame. <laughs> Just excuse the posture, please. I'll put some books on my head and walk around later, okay? I'm so happy to have you here. <laughs> Let's put that hyperlapse on, shall we? And I really went to the top, you know, I said we had a lot, we still have two packs. Let's do the lid. Right. One-handed skill. Ooh. One out of a million done. Time to do the label and on to the next. Right now I'm using a chopstick when any of the spices get stuck here. The bottom of the funnel. Just kind of work them through, help them through there. Oh, 
Also, it's like nighttime. How do we like the new light? We take all your suggestions in, by the way. We've gotten some new mics. We've gotten loads of new tripods, loads of new gear. I think we're going to do a little gear tour before the, the season starts of all the cool new things that we have. So you guys can get excited for some cool shots. We got this like five meter, something ridiculously long selfie stick. Excuse the change in lighting, my light just died because this is taking a lot longer than expected. I'm not complaining, I'm enjoying the sage is taking a while. As you can see, I'm just picking up the leaves, being so particular. And because it was so dark and I had this like studio light on me, I feel like I'm in Breaking Bad or something. Dark room, like m measuring out grams of sage. <laughs> it just took me half an hour de stem this sage and crush it up with the chopstick until I realized about 25 minutes into the process that I also have very heavy duty kitchen scissors. Here's all the rejects. <laughs> And the extras. Bye! to the next organization task. Good night. May I have some of those uh, spices? So what are we doing right now? I'm just what we call dry fitting. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the spice rack jars in to see how much clearance we have to go. One, mm -hmm. two, Lovely. we get three in. I say so. About the same height, the Looks gorgeous. Yay! So how are we going to approach this? There's no real engineering involved. Um, I don't have a level. I do have a measure, but I'm just going to do it by eye at the end of the day. And uh -oh. maybe use a spacer. i have wood. to put them on if yeah. you're doing it by eye. <laughs> struggled getting them completely like level obviously it's by eye it's certainly fine it's a nice bit of muted color to the space hey, what do you guys think we love this spice rack hopefully we catch lots of fish this season that we'll be able to spice up with our, our large selection of individuals <laughs> any cooking suggestions any fish recipes you know any nice spice mixers let us know i'd love to hear it thank you high five the eye why D.I. D.I.I. 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 I.I. Captain. Captain. D.I.I. Captain. Yeah. Captain. 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 Okay, story time. Very brief. This section of the video we had intended to include cleaning all of the bilges, every entire space that can be reached by human arms, legs, and otherwise. But unfortunately, there was an incident, and I won't go into it. I will instead just show you the clip that I took on the day. Let's roll the footage. So I dropped mom's phone in the water. I am so sorry. <laughs> the aftermath. Unfortunately, we did obviously drop the phone in salt water, which is highly corrosive. I would say in total, the phone was down there for maybe three or four minutes in about two to three meters of water and just by chance there is a lovely man who just happened to see it all the stress us go ah brave soldier goes i'm gonna get into that filthy marina water to help these strangers retrieve their phone no snorkel or anything comes off the front of his boat off swims around asks where it is we kind of show him around and he just happens to be a free diver like i don't need a tank it's okay i do this marie and jorgen who i interviewed happen to have a dive belt as well so yeah we give him this dive belt he <laughs> takes his breaths, down he goes, straight back up he comes, there's the phone. 
uh, what I found particularly amusing is that luckily we actually had two cameras going. I had my main interview camera set up, and oh, then I had my secondary B-roll camera set up, which is the one that fell in the water. But I did capture Marie and Jorgen's reactions to seeing the phone fall in the water. A very eventful day. You can't make these things up. I'm very glad I have a lovely, wonderful, patient, understanding, amazing mother who was okay and understands that accidents happen. I'm just glad it's been retrieved. I mean, I just think it's really uncanny that there just happened to be a man who witnessed the <laughs> debacle to retrieve the phone for us. And I'm just sitting there like, I have caused a drama. It's funny, it is what it is. It was so dramatic too, because it sank pretty slowly because it was attached to the the tripod. The bubbles were, and we're just watching it like, uh, uh, it's just falling. It's like, Give you guys an update on the old phone situation tomorrow. Ever wondered what happens when your beloved phone takes an unexpected dip in some salt water? Let's dive into it. First off, salt water is like kryptonite to your phone's delicate internals. When submerged, it forms a conductive path that can short circuit components, leading to malfunctions or even permanent phone damage. Even if your cell phone boasts waterproofing, salt water can still seep in through ports and compromise its integrity. And a reminder that salt water isn't just H2O and salt. Chloride ions in salt water accelerate corrosion, corroding metal contacts and electrical pathways much faster than fresh water ever could. In fact, studies show that salt water damage is a leading cause of foreign mishaps, especially during summer. Talk about a buzzkill. Good morning, everybody. Just a little update on the phone, <laughs> the one that I drowned. I have it right here with me. This little box. Came home, did some research, found a brilliant place in Athens. I rang one of their customer service technicians. He gave us an address. He said, no problem. You can ship it to us. I was like, great. Because Athens is about a five hour drive and we don't have a car with us. So here it is. The lovely little Samsung. The drowned S20 is in this box. So yeah, I'm on my way up to ACS and Professor to ship it. And it gets there nice and quickly because because obviously time is of the essence when we have salt water potentially corroding. The real stress of this is that we took two weeks off the channel in order to film, right? So we did a lot of filming in these last two weeks. Like we've done a lot and especially on this phone. Note to self, probably shouldn't have put that one really close to the water, should I? No. And hopefully we'll drop this off and we'll hear about it. Very hopeful. I'll be crew. Like I made them go outside because I <laughs> couldn't talk when they were in here. I'll be very hopeful. Very. Very. Think oh. positively. It's oh. all gonna happen. It's Good Friday. Maybe on Sunday the phone shall resurrect like Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Alright, I'm gonna take this now. I'm peace and love. And we'll just have to see how we go, won't we? Yeah. So that happened. It's actually been over a month. We were having some issues getting the result that we were after from the company. So we did decide to not work with them anymore. Unfortunately, that was at the expense of our data recovery. I do have a few clips, I think maybe five left that I took on this phone that I didn't drop in the water. But rest assured, the builders are very clean and they are now filled with lovely plastic containers that have all of our long-term storage foods, vegetables, and cans. Anything heavy and anything that isn't being used in the fridge. Yeah, that's my little wrap-up there. So I hope that gives you all a little laugh. Such is life. And yeah, I hope the update makes sense. Let's get on to the next topic. <laughs> The next thing that we're aiming to improve efficiency and organization on is our kitchen drawers. So when we moved aboard the boat, we bought a pack of like 50 assorted utensils. And then over time, we kind of collected a few more things. We do like to cook. Eventually, we have three cheese graters, 10 ladles, 50 peeler. It was just a lot. And they were all in the drawers. Every time we went to cook something, it's like sifting through this treasure trove of kitchen utensils just trying to get something for a meal so we purchased some kitchen drawer organizers to go in here i'm just going to be taking everything out that we don't use frequently and then it's high marks the organization so i don't keep you here too long and then i'll show you the after result to hopefully give you some boat and maybe home kitchen drawer organization inspiration let's get into it <laughs>
is draw number one. She's not the prettiest girl in the pageant, but everything is fitting well enough. And it's much better than it was with everything just strewn haphazardly around the drawer. Big scissors, knives, and frequently used tongs. And then just our everyday cutlery. So that is that drawer done and dusted. On to the next. is done nice and easy everything fits really well I'm very very pleased so I'm pretty happy with this one as well we have a look at them together those are our two fabulous newly organized drawers I'm very happy it's getting a bit late now but I'm very happy with the new additions that we've made to the kitchen have you guys got your drawers organized oh no were you sailing Trinity 30 minutes ago or sailing Trinity now? Let me know. <laughs> With your own kitchen organizational faculties to ponder, I think we'll end our episode here. Well, with a murdered phone, two organized drawers, 15 phantom bilges, and a semi-wonky spice rack, that's all we have for you this week, folks. Tune in next episode as we approach the semi-finale of our final winter chapter before diving headfirst into our much-awaited season two. Around the Highlands in 80 days. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys.